Before we generate toolpath for our component, we'll have a quick overview of the tool selection and tool management um, options that you've got within SmartCam. The first thing we can do is just simply generate a tool on the fly. So drop into CAM mode, define a new tool, um, perhaps an end mill, um, and populate the speeds and feeds either by completing this panel or getting it from Material Librarian. Um, so that's created a simple milling cutter. Um, we just set a depth of cut, perhaps 20 mil deep. Um, set an offset side, <coughs> and then you're ready to go. So draw a simple line in this case. Just snap some points from here to here, and um, you've done it. You've created a tool on the fly, and we've already created some tool path. We just quickly verify that. Um, if I keep it fairly slow. <coughs> So that's the first method, is just simply create a tool um, on demand as you need it. We'll now create a new job and we'll look at um, a couple more options that you've got with SmartCam. So we won't bother saving that. So next we'll look at um, loading tools from uh, the Knowledge Based Machining Library, a KBM library, which is something that you would uh, populate with data of your own, the tools you've got available, sets of tools that you use on a regular basis and so on. So first of all we'll load a single tool from that database and here um, you can choose different types, milling, drilling and so on, different tool types. So if we load up a simple um, milling cutter, let's go for a 20 mil diameter cutter, accept it. That's loaded the it's called a step in smart cam, which is a combination of the tool and uh, feeds and speeds for that tool. So we've got a milling cutter in place with whatever speeds and feeds were appropriate for that um, material we're using. Um, and we're ready to go. So that's just one example of loading a predefined tool from a from a knowledge base. So we'll start a new job now, get rid of that content of the planner for the next um, use of, of the KBM. In the KBM, you can store um, groups of tools that you know are for your own purposes. So I've got some examples here of uh, tools that are specific features, for example. So we've got here um, the drill and the tap required for uh, an M10 tapped feature. You could add a spot drill or a center drill to that group of tools if you wanted to, um, and also. I have got saved here a set of tools that might be my one of my default sets of tools for machining uh, jobs. So there's a combination of spot drills, drills, and some some milling cutters. Don't mean I have to use them all, but that could be my one of my preferred setups, couldn't it? And quite simply, all we do is uh, copy all of those into our selection, and they're now available to us within SmartCam. We can change to these steps and carry out uh, machining operations using that, that appropriate tooling. And then finally, something that's really similar to what you've just seen, um, you don't have to use the KBM at all. You can store sets of tools away as what's called a, um, a, a job file in SmartCam and then load the content of that job file into your new program. So again, start a new program. Don't save that. So here I'll just load up um, a job file from disk. So if we um, open up a set of tools that are saved on disk, not in the KBM, and our planner is populated with that set of tools and we're good to go again for generating toolpath. So to summarize that, you can create tools on, fl on the fly as you need them on demand. You can load individual tools from the KBM. You can load defined, predefined groups of tools from the KBM or you can merge the set of tools that have been used on uh, another SmartCam toolpath model. The KBM of course is uh, has management tools that you can administer, you can create content, create groups of tools uh, as required for your own operation.